Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back as I wrap up my morning. I've had a great morning and I've got two more guests for you. I've got Dr. Frederico Ash. He's a medical doctor and a cardiologist. And I've got Gail Becker. She's the CEO of Cully Power. Welcome guys to the Valder BB show for the first time. Thanks so much for having us. All right. You guys Thank are you here to talk about Thank you. You to help my my audience get involved in uh, teaching gardens. That's a program nationwide. I'm going to start with you, Doctor Ash. What is a community garden, and what are the benefits? Uh, can I jump in there? Uh, um, a teaching yeah. garden is uh, teaching gardens, or as we like to call them. Um, real life laboratories in these schools where kids can get their hands dirty and, you know, plant vegetables and, and, and cultivate them and ultimately learn how to cook with them um, and incorporate them into, into their diets. You know, obesity is such a problem in this country, childhood of, of obesity in particular. In fact, kids, most kids don't get more than one and a half servings of vegetables per day, which is well below the daily recommendation. So what's so great about these community gardens is they really incorporate healthy eating habits, which is why we're announcing these uh, grants today by uh, the American Heart Association Collie Power to help build more of them throughout the country. How, can I ask either you or Dr. Ash, my uh, audience have already expressed that they want to have more community gardens. They need some grants. How do they get on the grants for the next distribution then? Oh, one of my favorite questions. All you have to do is go to heart.org slash teaching gardens. Everything you need uh, to apply for one of these grants is there. The grants are $2,500, which is all that you need to start and create a wonderful garden. The applications and the process is due by October 29th. So I encourage everybody to get on it and and let's help build more of these um, gardens in our local communities. Dr. Ash, with these community gardens and people growing their own vegetables and eating them directly from the garden, what do you think is the benefit? Well, the benefit will be a better education to our communities of how important these um, um, healthy eating habits are. And um, to summarize it very briefly, as Gail mentioned, Obesity and overweight is is a big problem uh, uh, in our children, but in our communities in general. In addition to obesity, hypertension, diabetes, there's hypercholesterol or high cholesterol. Those are problems that are intimately related to our diets. So what we're trying to do in this program with the American Heart Association and Cowley Power is to provide the educational tools, get people to know better about what is a healthy uh, eating um, 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 habit, if you will. Uh, we are trying to to uh, teach this to our children, but by extension, we're trying to bring this to the community. And to be able to do that, we need the help of adults in the community, whether these are the family members of, of the children or those at school or in our or in the community. We need them to be able to teach them how to cook with them, how to prepare meals, um, how to to um, make tasty meals and, and, and smelly and, and, and how to enjoy each of the aspects of this food every day so kids can actually embrace these healthy habits. That will turn our communities for the future healthier. All right. Gail, I want to ask you, though, to get started, can you start a community garden where? In your school, in your backyard, in a vacant lot? Where do you start a community garden? Well, you you can start a community garden 
anywhere. These, these grants specifically are for teaching gardens in schools. Um, you know, many schools that have the gardens are in historically uh, under-resourced communities. Um, you know, people that, you know, uh, communities that don't have as much access to, to fresh produce. In fact, during the pandemic, uh, many of these teaching gardens actually served as a real source of nutritional um, uh, vegetables and, and, and food for a lot of these communities. So what it, what it really shows is how these teaching gardens at schools really become part of the fabric of the community and, and can really make a difference. I love that. Once again, where do they go? Because they're going to want to know from me, where do they go to get started? I'm going to say it as often as I can. Go to heart.org <laughs> backslash teaching gardens. Um, and all you have to do is apply for one of the grants. It's very simple. The deadline is October 29th. And um, and we can't wait to uh, help build these gardens in, in, in communities around the country. Gail, Ash, Dr. Asher and Gail, thank you so very much for that information to help people have a better quality of life and participate in that quality of life. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stay nourished, everyone. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.